Hey guys and welcome back to another video. In today's video we're going to be looking at a fully automatic trap concept which uses landmines or snap traps and can be added to any base design. We're going to be looking at a few different bases here to show you how you can build it into any base whether it's your main or just for the trap with space for loot. Coming into the first base here you can see that the player has to crouch to get through. This clips their head slightly through the wall, setting any of the traps placed above off. You can reset this easily by placing more on the top. This base also has space to store loot, craft and has a TC which is protected somewhat in case you're raided. I do currently have a £20 Steam card giveaway in the description just to say thank you for 2,500 subscribers so go and check that out. Coming into the next base here it's a little bit different. The player has to jump up clipping their head through the floor as they jump and setting off the trap. You can reset this in the same method as before. Again here we have space for boxes, your TC and whatever else you need. I'd recommend using snap traps in any triangles as you can only place one landmine but you can place multiple snap traps. The base here is similar to the first but leaving the front door off and adding a cheesy sign makes the base appear raided. As the player walks through again, their head clips through the floor and sets off the trap. You can easily reset this in the same method as before. We also have space for your TC, furnaces and boxes as well as a sleeping bag. This base here is probably my favourite as it gives the appearance that you've forgotten to upgrade the bottom and the player can go deep. but yet again as they walk through it sets off the trap. This base is fully functional with plenty of boxes, furnaces, bags and your TC and again you can reset this trap easily by simply placing the traps on the floor in this room and replacing the twig. back into this base here, as I mentioned earlier you can see that I can only place one landmine and therefore for triangles I'd recommend using snap traps as you can fit more in a smaller area. Now the base that I've built here is something that I would usually build, however I've added the square floor halfway through the airlock allowing use of the traps here. This shows how you can easily add it to any airlock. So to build it all you need to do is build a normal airlock and add a half lights floor to it which allows you to place the trap. Once you've got this in place you can continue to build the rest of your base as normal. For this example I'm just going to build a 2x2 two two off the back. Now once you've done this, you can place your traps as normal. Make sure for the external door that you do not place a door as players will be able to see the traps through the top. You'll need to place a half wall and then build an airlock off the side or leave this as it is. Sure to jump in my discord and show me what you've managed to do with this concept the link is in the description as always if you enjoyed be sure to hit the like button as it really helps out and don't forget to subscribe to catch all of my content